Right, today we're going to the fantastic Vedant Brewing Company and this is Roy I Want a Hilux or Hilex. It's a pale ale. It's coming at 5.5% ABV, uh, 440ml can. Canned on the 9th of March of 2018, reviewing this on the 23rd of March of 2018. Um, so, a bit of spiel on the back. Um, so, you've got it actually contains Citra, Mosaic, Centennial, and Chinook hops, um, London Ale yeast, and then the oats are Golden Promise oats, uh, premium caramel malt, wheat malt, and dextrin. Um, so, it contains gluten, wheat, and barley. Uh, so it actually says, oh, there's a little bit of information I don't really want to go into. This beer was part of our show this evening. So, from good on Good Beer Live. So, Honest Brew, if you spend £35, you will get 10% off your first order and free shipping. Pfft, you can't go wrong with that. I mean, all the links are down below, uh, the code. Good beer live, all capitals, all one word. Put it into the checkout at the end. Pick your beers, 35 quid or more. Boom. Right, so yeah, Vedant Brewing Company had a few beers from these guys and they just never disappoint. So I'm going to pour a bit more in just to see, see if it retains or creates any kind of head. Not really. I mean, I opened this can about probably an hour ago now. I probably shouldn't have poured it all in one go, but hey ho. I think I'll get a little bit of my nose in there. So beer in the glass then, it's quite a, a, a deep kind of orangey colour. It's just a, a slightly off-white, slightly tinged yellow head. Half a finger, nothing too trivial there. But yeah, murky, hazy. For a pale ale, looks quite impressive I think. Let's get an aroma then. It went straight up the nose. That's what happens when you pour it too much in with a big nose. It's all very kind of light. There's pineapple there, mango. Yeah, it's all the orange, flesh orange. Not really picking up too much on the kind of malt side of things at this moment. Maybe a little bit biscuity. Let's just give it a try. Cheers. It's very smooth. The mouth feels very smooth. There is a like little bit of like you know that kind of hop oil you get. It's a little bit dry, very dank, slightly piney. Definitely get more of a kind of a pine element than when we actually reviewed it on the show between the three of us. So check out um, JK Beer and Rob from Hop Scene if you haven't already. Um, if I remember I'll put the links down below. But just do, if if not then just do a, a search on, on YouTube. JK Beer and Hop Scene. And up they'll come. Yeah, very earthy. There's a nice earthiness, not in a bad way. Definitely a dry. There's a lovely tang to it, almost not not wo slightly woody or like a woody pine. Almost like a, maybe a, a pine sap kind of thing. A little bit dry, not too dry. Super drinkable. 5.5%. Not happening. No ABV at all detected on my palate at least. Um, Really nice beer. I missed out on this the first time it was brewed. Was it 20, 2017? Was it last year? 
not sure. I think it was a different colour can then as well. Um, it might have been a yellow can, not sure. Can't remember. Anyway, back to the beer. Not that I was gone away from the beer, but you know what I mean. Um, so this is vegan friendly. So yeah, these guys are out of farm of verdantbrewing.com, I guess. Dot co. It just says dot co. So I'll put all the links down below like I normally do, as well as all the Honest Brew um, links, etc. Um, Roy, I want Hillux. Hillux? I'm probably butchering that up like I do. Um, oh, uh, oh, an endless supply of this in my face. Orange juice parallel. Not any old orange juice, mind. That posh stuff with bits and bubbles and yeast and loads and loads of juicy hops. Cheers, Roy. No oranges are in this beer. So this is all purely hops. The green ones. Not that I don't think you can get any other colour hops, but you know what I mean. Because I don't. But yeah, this is a really nice beer. Drinking really super smooth, easy drinking. Parallel 5.5. You could drink this. You could drink... I, I, I'd, if this was on tap somewhere, I'd probably have more than one. For sure. Decent. Decent beer. But then, it's it's verdant. You know, what, what do you expect? They just... They knock it out of the park. They're one of the best breweries in the UK. Um, I feel very lucky to get anything from these guys. Um, so, yeah. So, in terms of a rating, um, it's, it's not the best uh, verdant beer I've ever had um, from from other other things I've had, but from these guys. But you know, you're going to get a decent product when you get one of these things. So, if it is available by the time I post this review, um, and it's there on Honest Brew's website, just buy it. There's a good chance it won't be available, but have a look. So in terms of rating then, um, it's a solid beer, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for me, it's a 4 stars out of 5 for Untapped. Over on Untapped then, it's only had 1,124 ratings. It's, well, there you go, it's coming in at 3.99, so I'm putting it bang on 4. That's pretty much in line with, with me. Um, and that's it. Nothing else to say. So if you've had this beer before from Verdant, Roy wants a Hlux. Helux. Put your comments down below. It'd be great to hear from you. Check out Honest Brew or the Spiel down below. Thanks again to Honest Brew for sending me the beer. And I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.